One of the latest features in Mythic that I want to hit on is this SOX capability. So right now, SOX is only implemented in the Poseidon agent. So we went ahead and kicked off a new Poseidon agent. This can be on Mac OS or on Linux, doesn't matter. So the first thing we need to do is check and see if there are any SOX capabilities running right now. So you can look at that here, look at uh, any of these dropdowns and select SOX proxies. You can see here, there's none currently listening. So let's go ahead and start it. So it's as easy as doing SOX, hitting enter. We want to start SOX and pick a port. Uh, in our case, 3333, doesn't matter. This port will be opened on the Mythic server itself, not on the target, opens up on the Mythic server. So open up port 3333. See it's pre-processing, it's going through, it's submitted, it is now uh, running a SOX server on Mythic. So we can go ahead and go through. And now we wanna make sure that the agent pulls it down. Yep, has SOX. So the next step there is to go through on our end, on our attacker machine, and make sure that we have something like proxy chains configured to use SOX on port 3333. So let's go ahead and in terminal, we'll come over here and edit our proxy chains configuration. Uh, down here at the bottom, we'll go ahead and make sure this is SOX 5 specifically. Since we are on doing this on the same box where we have Mythic installed, we're just doing localhost. And our port we said was 3333. So go ahead, write that out. Now we want to make sure that we have a slow sleep time. So depending on what you're doing, your sleep may not be that big of an issue. Typically though, you need a slower sleep time for things like HTTP and TCP connections to not be broken by the timeouts. So we'll go ahead and do sleep zero. So this will sleep it down. And now you can see here, this check-in interval is pretty much always zero. Sometimes it'll go up to one, but it's pretty fast. So the last thing we need to do is come over here and in our terminal, we'll go ahead and leverage proxy chains. So what we'll do is go ahead and SSH into this box. So this is the box, the Mac OS machine, where we have uh, Poseidon running. So we'll do proxy chains, SSH. It's a feature at 192.168.205.130. It's going to connect. You can see it's asking us to verify the fingerprint. Type yes, password connect in. And now you can see that we have an SSH connection through our Poseidon agent onto that box. So we can do host name, ID, you know, who am I, IF config, like all this sort of information we can just run right there on that box. So it's super handy. It's a nice feature. I will uh, make sure that you don't have too many of these going at once because you are doing a sleep zero. You are doing a new get request into the Mythic server at millisecond intervals. So it's incredibly fast. It can be very noisy on the wire. It's a lot of processing for Mythic to handle. So just make sure you don't have too many of these going at once. So go ahead and exit our connection and come back over here. It's still going. If we want to look at the proxies themselves, here you can see from any callback, we have callback three currently has socks open on port 3333. So we can go ahead and just kill it here, do a stop. Now that kills the socks capability, but our agent is still at sleep zero. So we'll go ahead and update that back to sleep 10. And now everything is a little bit more normal in the environment. So just wanted to highlight that as a neat way to go through and set stuff up and uh, iterate that as you go through and you edit this configuration, make sure you're using socks five.